Hello, I'm Kim, Brewster Rossiter, and live with the Ambassadors at the Sunset 5K, this is... Spotlight Saturday, episode 82! <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Briley, Devin, and Emily. And we're here right now at the Sunset 5K getting ready to roll. So we're vlogging this episode. This is part two in our two-part vlogging special. So if you didn't see last week's episode, make sure you go check that out. And today's gonna be a great day. Bye. Right now we are unpacking all the medals and setting them out on the table so that we can have them ready for the runners that are coming through the shoot. So we put all of these medals in stacks, and we still have even more down here that don't fit on the table, so no one leaves without a medal. Look how pretty they are. Alright, I'm in the merchandise booth with my mom right now. She's working hard at work. Merchandise lady. Yep. Okay. Are you being a good boy? Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> First Sunset 5K! Yeah! Alright, so I'm here with my grandpa. This is Pop Up, also known as uh, Steve Rossiter for those of you that don't call him Pop Up. But um, this is your fourth Sunset 5K. I've been to every single one. Yeah. What are you looking forward to the most about this Sunset 5K? Everybody to have a good time and be safe. Yes, that's, that's always that's always what we wish for. Beautiful, beautiful turnout. Looking and, forward to it. And hopefully the rain is going to stay far, far away. Yes, we're not saying that word. Oh, okay. But yes. <laughs> Looks like the front go front's not bringing it. Yep. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Sunset 5K on the news. Oh, oh gosh. Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, have y'all seen the stage? What in the Woo! world did you do? Have y'all seen the stage? You need to go over there and selfie the stage and show right. everybody the amazing advocacy that's happening right there in the amphitheater. All right, so uh, I heard from some loud man that there's some amazing advocacy going on on this stage. So let's let's go check it out, guys. Let's go see what's going on over here. Well, we appreciate you guys out here working. Are you excited for the to be here at the Sunset Bucket? Heck yeah, we are. Awesome. Look at these beautiful t-shirts. First of all, I'm, a, I'm obsessed with this color. And then, of course, the graphic design is beautiful. This looks so much like the race metal, too. So I absolutely love that. And, of course, um, if you go back a couple episodes, I'll have it on the bottom of the screen, what episode, but you can see Kyle. Kyle is the one that does all of these beautiful shirts for us. And we are so appreciative of his help and services. And of course, Sunset 5K is... N Hi! Oh, hey, hey, everybody! This is the most amazing race Aww. director in the entire world. This is the most amazing niece in the whole entire world. Mm, not sure about that, but yeah. thank you. Yeah. I love you. I love you more. Anyway, what I was saying, Sunset 5K is known for its finishers festival, and these are all of the booths that are going to have a ton of food available later tonight, so that is super exciting, especially for people who are not from here, so they can get a good taste of Louisiana cooking. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Angel Noah and his family, and they're coming all the way from Virginia Beach, where I live. That's a long way to travel. Did you guys drive here? Yes. We did. That is crazy. So, uh, what are you most excited for about the Sunset 5K? It's the your finish. first ever one. Yes, the food, the finish. Pushing. Pushing, yes. Well, I hope you guys have a great time. Bye. Okay. I am here with rider Zach, and the super cool thing about Zach is that we are running together today. Are you excited to run? It's going to be so much fun. What do you have right here? A snow cone? Is it yummy? Yeah. Well, I'm super excited to push you. Yay! Here we are, lined up.
lined up at the start. finished running and it's dark outside now and this is the best part some would say of the sunset 5k and it's the finishers festival so we're going to show you around and talk to some more people this mission and journey started 29 days ago on the on the first of july at the sunrise 5k with an ambassador in moorhead minnesota and it's just been one incredible day after another as we passed through ambassadorships and, and met amazing incredible people along the way and, and really promoted inclusion and, and spread that mission of Ainsley's Angels and gave the gift of mobility along the way. And Sunset 5K is coming to a close, and I'm here with the race director, my Nana, and I was wondering how long does it take to put on a race like this? We start preparing in February, so approximately six months. Wow. There's stuff that happens sooner, such as race dates and things of that sort, but for the most part, it takes us about six months. And I just want to say very quickly that I could not do this without every single volunteer that helps us from Roxanne, my co-race director, to Jessica and Amy and Tanya and Tracy, uh, Tad. There are so many people that help make this race possible and I could not, we couldn't do this without everybody. From the volunteers that work in the food tents to the volunteers that cook the food to all of the local sponsors that, that uh, donate all their items to our event. It just, it wouldn't happen without uh, community support and without volunteers. Absolutely. Well, thank you for putting thank on you. this beautiful race. Thank y'all for coming. We hope to see y'all here next year. I love you. Until then, good night. Bye. A young angel born.